The United Kingdom's Central Opposition Party, the Labour Party, is facing some extreme blowback following continued allegations of anti-Semitism. And indeed, the party's past is littered with scandals, especially with regards to party head Jeremy Corbyn. Well, in an effort to put those scandals behind them, the party publicly accepted the internationally recognized definition of anti-Semitism. And their addition of a caveat to this definition, however, has only served to reignite the scandal all over again. Most nations and political factions have adopted the definition of anti-Semitism set forth by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance as a global standard. Among the fine print of this definition are texts that defend Israel's right to exist, forbid the comparison of modern Israeli policies to that of the Nazis, and not holding Jews collectively responsible for actions that the Israeli government takes. While the Labour Party's adoption of the IHRA's definition is certainly a long time coming, this is where the caveat kicks in. The Labour Party has said that in addition to adopting the definition, the party adds an addendum, which, quote, ensures that this will not in any way undermine freedom of expression on Israel or the rights of Palestinians, end quote. Well, it was critical today that we reassured the Jewish community and were in complete solidarity with the concerns that they'd raised over the last few months. So that's why, as an NEC, we agreed to adopt not just the IRA definition, which was adopted in 2016, but also all of the examples in full. We also sought to reassure our own members that you know freedom of speech was not going to be limited. The spirit of IRA and its definitions was never intended to limit that free speech, and we made that clarification today at the meeting to state quite clearly that the intention of IRA isn't to limit discourse on the political situation between Israel and Palestine. This somewhat vague condition has divided UK Jews, who've long felt hostility or at least passive acceptance of anti-Semitism rampant throughout the kingdom. Labour Friends of Israel director Jennifer Gerber sums up how many British Jews feel by saying, quote, it's appalling that the Labour Party has once again ignored the view clearly and repeatedly stated by the Jewish community that it should adopt the full IHRA definition without additions, omissions, or caveats, end quote. Now, at the top of all these scandals is arguably the UK's Labour Party leader, Jeremy Corbyn. Corbyn has long been accused of harboring an openly anti-Semitic agenda and letting it take over his party. Labour members have resigned following the resurfacing of video footage in which Corbyn can be seen questioning Israel's right to exist, comparing Israel's conduct to that of the Nazis, and calling Hamas terrorists his brothers. And that's after the recent leaking of photos of Corbyn at terrorist memorials. So if anything, this is all evidence that something is certainly a foul in the United Kingdom.